Hey guys, I am Marcus Buff Bagwell and as a wrestler on the road, you find ways to pass the time and also entertain yourselves. That's where ribs come into play. Ribs are something that could be very hurtful and something that could be very funny and very unhurtful. Um, so this story is gonna to lead to one of the biggest ribs I ever played. So a rib is like a, like a prank or a joke, like, um, if you were to put a little bucket of water on a door and somebody opens the door and the water falls on them, that's a pretty good rib. I mean, you're leaving, you're getting the guy wet. You know, that's, 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 that's a pretty good rib. Um, it could be, uh, you know, you, you, at a restaurant, you pull up and a lot of the wrestlers just leave, leave our keys in our cars. Well, we'd hop out and we'd move the person's car to the other side of the building. And they come out going, oh my God, somebody stole my car. And we let them call the police and everything. That would be another unharmful rib. Well, there's also harmful ribs. Like it goes to like, if you, if you make somebody mad at you, then it becomes hurtful ribs, harmful ribs. Like, you know, things where you may open something and something fall and hurts you or something hurts your foot or your leg or um, it's just ribs are, have really different meanings, but the word rib means playing a joke, playing a trick on somebody. And uh, the rib or joke that I played um, really was the biggest one I ever played was on, was on Sting, Steve Borden. So Sting and I were, you know, friends and all that, but this was the very first road trip I ever took with Sting. So we were on the road in Louisiana. Can't remember what city, but we were definitely in Louisiana because man, it was hot. It was so hot. Well, it was me and Eric Watts and Sting. So uh, we went to Sting and, and we had gone to the, we go to the gym that day. So we landed, went to the gym. We get to the gym, we're, having, we're training together, doing all our stuff. And during the workout, I, I burped and Sting looked at me like I had lost my mind. I didn't think it was real out loud, loud, and I'm very gassy burp-wise. I, I burp a lot, especially when I eat, and so it's, something, it's been something I've done my whole life. I actually take medication for it. Um, I went to a, a doctor and they gave me some peps, and so I'm working on that, but I didn't know this back then. I'm only 23 or 20, 22, 23 years old. This was 1992 is when this happens, I'm 22 years old, and I notice I burp a lot, but at the gym one day, I burp, and it, I probably got a little loud on accident, and Sting was mad. He was like, man, you, what are you doing? I said, Sting, it slipped. He goes, don't ever burp around me ever again. And he was mad at me, and I said, Sting, I'm, I'm here I am, 22 years old, I'm riding with Sting, the Sting, and I'm like, yes, sir, I'm so sorry. He goes, don't call me sir, but you know, just don't do it again. I said, man, I'm so sorry. I was devastated, man. As soon as I got with Eric, I was like, Eric, man, oh my gosh, Sting's mad at me. I burped. Oh my God, you know? I mean, I was really, really upset. So that night, we get to the Marriott, and Sting bought us a room at the concierge level. That means that's the level you got to put your key in. I never even knew what that meant till this day. So we go to our, our special concierge level room, and we're, we're looking at everything. We got, we got like cookie baskets and fruit baskets in our room. And me and Eric are like, what, what is this? This is crazy. It was like luxury to the max for us. And all of a sudden, knock at the door, it's Sting. I was like, go to the door. Hey, buddy. He goes, he's got a bag in his hand. He goes, I've got cookies. And I go, oh, my God, you got cookies? And Eric's like, hey, we got some too. And I go, oh, that's great. And Sting goes, yeah, but you ain't got mine. And I go, oh, okay, thanks, man. So I go take the cookie, and when I pull it out, I look, and the cookie is stuck in poop. Stinger's poop in a bag. And I went, oh my. So I went from being so upset that this man thought that I burped, and I was he was mad at me for burping because it embarrassed him to him taking a dump in a bag and putting a cookie in it and handing it to me. And I was like, it went from upset about the burp to, okay, oh, oh, okay, brother, I didn't, I didn't know we were like this. 
Oh, I got you. Okay, I got you, brother. So that night we laughed about it and we cut up about it. Well, that night, I don't know where I got this thought, but I think I opened the door and I saw the newspapers lined up in front of all the doors. I mean, like a big, thick USA Today in front of everybody's door at the Marriott's concierge level. That's how it works. And I had to poop real bad. And I thought, oh my God, I got an idea. So I went and got his paper. And the next morning, I waited. I had to poop so bad that night, but I held it. I held it all night. I woke up and I had to poop so bad. I go get the paper and I put the paper down in front of the toilet. And I face the toilet because when you poop, you pee in case you didn't know. And so I'm squatting to poop into this bag. I open the newspaper up the big thick USA Today, and I put the biggest dump right in the middle of that paper. I pee in the toilet so pee don't go everywhere, and I get the paper, and Eric Watts is hysterically laughing at this. I squish it all down, I take it back out and put it in front of his door. Now you gotta think about this. Now, go back a little bit. I've, I've gotten in trouble for burping. And I was devastated. I have now, though, he has come at me with a bag full of poop. And he's changed the rules a little bit. But still, now, this rib is, again, getting a little out of hand. Like, now, poop could get on him. Or, I'm starting to get a little bit scared about this. But it's too late. It's been done. So, me and Eric knock on his door. You ready to go? He goes, be down in a minute. We, we come get in the elevator. We go down. And here he comes. And back in these days, we were doing, we were doing Saturday Night Live skits, but with like, oh my God, gag me with a spoon and all that California stuff. And we were just trying to be like talking all crazy like that. So we were doing that a lot back then. And he was, he looked at me and was doing that. Oh my God. And he goes walking with a newspaper and I'm getting more and more scared about the poop getting on him possibly. And he's walking like this with the with the poop in the newspaper. And I'm going like, and, and right after he gets to the table, he goes like this with the paper and poop goes across the table and it's dripping down a glass. My poop is. So at this stage, now I'm completely freaked out. I go, Steve, put the paper down, please. And he goes, oh my God, you guys are farting over here too. I said, you're holding it. And he goes, what? I go, I go, put the paper down, you're holding it. So I never got on him or anything and all that, but still, uh, that would be called, that would be the biggest rib I ever pulled. And I thought after that, right, I mean, he's handing me a poopy cookie. I hand him a, a poopy newspaper. The poop story's over. The poop story lasted the rest of the weekend. So, we go bowling because we had time to kill back then. Back then we didn't drink all day long like we used to. So we did the logical things like go see a movie, go work out, go play golf in the good old days. We did that. And so this day we went bowling before the show because we had time to kill. So we come out of the bowling alley, 120 degrees in Louisiana, and we get in the car and it smells like poop. And we're like, Oh God, what's going on? Who, who's now Eric's done? It. Eric, what have you done? He goes, I swear to God, I ain't done it. So Steve's in the back laughing, and we're like, "What? Come on, man! What are you doing?" So we're look. All of a sudden, I open the dash, and there's human feces in the dash of the Cadillac car we're renting, and I'm trying to get the poop out, and Eric's gagging, and Steve's laughing, and the poop's falling, and I'm trying to get it out the window, and. Oh my God, it was like, it was just the biggest poop weekend I've ever had in my entire life. So yes, that really did happen. And yes, that would be the biggest rib I ever pulled. And that would be the rib I pulled on Steve Borden, better known as the Stinger. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos. And if you're interested in cool NWO shirts like this one right here or other wrestling sports merch, click the link in the description of the video to jump over to Fanatics and place your order today. Ha <laughs> ha!